Thanks for the update there. The other big story that we've been covering for you here the last two days, Bob Huggins remarks during that radio interview here in Cincinnati yesterday have set off a conversation about the consequences of using language offensive to so many people. It's not just a discussion here in Cincinnati, but of course at West Virginia University in Morgantown, where Huggins now coaches and has for years and years. WLWT News Science Brian Hamrick live for us with the story. Okay, so Brian, just to explain to our viewers, you grew up in Morgantown, so you've been talking with a lot of people there today. What are they saying? What's their feeling about all of this? Yes, yeah, Sheree, well, people are divided on this, uh, whether it's at WVU, here at UC, uh, Xavier, and even in the gay community, there are a lot of different opinions about how this should be handled. Now, Bob Huggins, he has a core of loyal supporters. Some feel he's apologized, he's accepted responsibility, and that should settle it. Others believe there's no excuse for that kind of language, and it's an indication of a bigger problem. Now, I talked with Greg Hunter, who's an editor of Blue and Gold News in Morgantown. He's on the radio, he has podcasts, he's known Huggins for years, he covers every single WVU basketball game and has his finger on the pulse of everything sports for WVU. What's kind of the mood uh, there in Morgantown? Polarizing, I mean, it, it certainly is a firestorm. There's no doubt about it. Not just in Morgantown, but throughout the state of West Virginia. I mean, as I think most know, Mountaineers are the are the program, football, basketball, whatever, in the entire state. So it's not just, you know, the city of Morgantown that's reacting to this, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, now Greg Hunter tells me, he thinks the general consensus is there will be some kind of punishment. The question is what, will he be suspended? Will Huggins be fired? Something in between all of that. Uh, the university has said the comments were insensitive, offensive, and not in line with the values of the university. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, how does Huggins' status factor into all of this? Yeah, Sheree, you know, he's the winningest active coach. Uh, they just record, uh, recruited four top-notch athletes for the basketball program. There's a lot of optimism, uh, a lot of optimism for that program. All of these things will be a factor. On top of all of this, Huggins has raised millions, millions of dollars for cancer research there. So all of that's going to come into this decision making and it'd make it, you know, a lot more difficult if he than if he had a losing record and he hadn't done much for the community those penalties would probably be much more stiff. Right or wrong, uh, universities, society seems to operate that way, Sheree. Yeah, you're right about that. All right, Brian Hamrick live for us tonight. Brian, thanks so much. And we should point out that John London has been working the other side of the story. Again, this happened on WLW Radio. He's going to have more on that coming up on WLWT News 5 at 5 o'clock. Also, new